Howdy strangers and welcome back to another video. And today's video is very, very cool because I am using a new secret gun that was recently added in Baron 5. Well, secret in quotation marks. But it's the Groza 1. It is a gun that you can get by completing quests in the Socarena uh, with the Russian dude. I forget his name right now. But um, basically, you gotta complete at a minimum like 10 quests for him before. And you have to have maximum reputation, which is about saving like 20 hostages. So, um, obviously, it is also a little bit random on top of that, so it can take some more time than just 10 quests and stuff like that. So, it takes a little bit of luck and it takes some time, but you will eventually get the Groza, which is this gun right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this before we get into stats time or anything like that, just to kind of make it worth your time. You cannot put on an optic, muzzle device, or a grip on the Groza. So... If that's kind of a deal breaker for you, this is what you get out of the Groza. This is it. This is what it looks like here. The irons, not very great. Recoil is not very great either. Um, obviously, I'm going a little bit more in depth than that uh, in stats time. But very, very um, bulky irons, <laughs> to say the least. I'm trying to put this in the nicest way possible. As cool as it is to get a new event gun, the Groza, all things considered, isn't very great. It's sort of like the AUG A1 in a way. It's cool to be in the game. But all things considered, it's not very good. Um, it boasts some interesting stats, which obviously I'll get a little bit more in depth in stats time. So, as for now, it's going to deal with me just kind of messing around with it on gym right here. Um, one thing I don't really care much for the Groza is that it definitely falters at a range, especially with this recoil that it has. Um, it it tends to kick pretty well, and especially with the fact you can't really see too much of what you're doing with the iron sights. That can be a, a massive deal breaker, but in CQC, it does fairly well, considering all things considered, it is not, not that bad at that at all. As you, as you can see, at a medium to close quarters range, it can melt. That's time. So here we have the Groza with a base damage, well, the only damage you can have, uh, with a headshot damage of 94, torso of 51, arms and legs of 26, uh, recoil of 44. You can put on a suppressor, so that helps with flash height, you know, uh, with muzzle flash, but you can't really see it with the irons anyways, but so, it kind of just comes down to preference. Um, one thing to note is that you will get better ergonomics, I think, or maybe worse ergonomics. I don't really know how that ergonomics works, but it doesn't really matter. Don't worry about ergonomics saying too much, but you will get worse recoil if you put on the suppressor, so it kind of comes down to preference with that. Um, but I'd personally recommend running the standard barrel because you get better, slightly better recoil. Um, you can also put on a polymer thing, which is what I was running for just slightly better weight, and you only have the regular mag. So this is this is all you get with the Groza. It's just kind of up to you. A four-shot min is not great on assault rifle, but a two-shot to torso is very, very cool. That is something that you would only usually see on a battle rifle or a sniper. Hey, we got a fellow Groza user in the lobby. That's cool. Anyway, so uh, with a four shot minimum on this gun, that is not very good. So you best hope that you're hitting headshots and uh, torsos. So I will say that. Oh, I did not see that guy at all. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. Um, four shot men on assault rifle, very uh, not great. <laughs> just, just being honest. I'm, dude. There are so many places that I want to go, but I can't really for unless I want to get absolutely beamed. Alright, well, I somehow managed to push all the way up to OBJ, so we'll see what I can do from here. Uh, but the Groza, with its recoil, oh! Oh, that hurts me! No, the last guy's gotta be AFK! Oh my gosh. So, for those of you who don't understand what just happened, I hit that man three times. On most assault rifles, that is the minimum to kill, is a, is a three-shot man. Most of them, some obviously have some exceptions, but whatever. Three shot min is kind of the normal standard for assault rifles. So having the growth of the four shot, if you can only hit limbs like I just did right there, you're gonna need one extra bullet. And well, as you all saw right there, that got me killed because <laughs> it didn't work out for me. Anyways, the Groza having a four-shot man is pretty bad, obviously, like I've said before. And a two-shot torso is very, very nice. Very, very cool, but all things considered, it's not very practical, and I'll kind of explain that in a second. I feel like the torso is probably, like, the hardest part on a BR5 player's body to hit, due to the fact that usually people run out with, like, their guns in their hands, so you have the, the arms, like, basically covering the chest, and you also have the legs and the head, and yeah, maybe head, head is, like, maybe a little bit difficult, but... 
I mean, all things considered, I feel like the torso's gotta be the hardest because, like, it's covered up by the limbs and just, or covered up by the arms. So you're not really gonna be taking advantage of that torso being, like, 51 damage. You'll mostly just be taking the advantage of the headshot being a two-shot minimum. So, I, I don't know, man. It's kind of up to you if you think the Groza is worth it. Personally, for all the time that you have to sink in to get it, I don't really know if it's worth it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't think the Groza is very worth it for all of its time. I feel like the LED 5A2 should have been the event gun that you got. Due to the fact that the LED 5A2 is very, very good and would have been a much nicer reward to have than, well, the Groza. Because, I mean, there you go. Right there again. You didn't, didn't get the kill. Which, I mean, I hit him twice, so fair enough. But still, it's like... It's very difficult to see what you're shooting at. You can't you can't lower the recoil at all. The recoil is atrocious. You can't see what you're aiming at typically. Um, takes way too much time for a gun that's not that great. There's just so many better options. The only thing about the Groza that is cool is the two shot to torso. But like I said, it's kind of impractical because most of the time you're probably going to be hitting limbs. That's the most common spot to probably hit. And with the arms, you know, kind of covering the torso a little bit, it gets even more difficult from there. So just to kind of hammer it home like one more time, I would highly recommend getting the Groza if you want every single gun in the game. But if you're looking for something that's good, don't look at the Groza. The Groza is not the best overall. Maybe if there's an update where they make it so you can actually put stuff on it, maybe that'll change. But as for now, this gun's just, yeah. So I will go and say it now, I hate the Groza statistically, but aesthetically, I love the Groza. This gun looks amazing it sounds amazing uh i actually slapped on the suppressors to actually show that off um this is this is just bad to be in so as you can hear the suppressor the suppressed sound sounds kind of um beefy to it like i don't know how to explain it it just sounds like the gun has some weight to it with the suppressor on it yeah i can't see myself beating out m4a1s whenever i have a gun that i can't even see what i'm shooting at <laughs> That one guy I got was just pure luck, I'll admit it. I don't know what I'm doing. I think my goal for this game is to at least get three kills. I'd say that is a W in my heart, okay? Because, like, I don't even know what the best I've done so far. It might have just been, like, four kills. But, like, so far, I've been kind of just averaging out, like, one kill. So, like, anything is an improvement, basically. Oh, dude, I got a headshot, but it's my teammate. Why? Oh, my God, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. How did I actually do that? That was that was very lucky. Okay. Look, I know I say lucky a lot, but I mean, it's just true. All right. Schwacked. Dude, there it is again. There is just me just putting in a bunch of shots into people, but they're not dying because they're... I, I hate four shot minimum guns. I hate it so so much if they not like an SMG or something. It just ah. <laughs> Oh hello. Yeah, I should not peek that because I just know I'm not gonna win. <gasps> I won! Ah let me put on a sight at least. I don't care if I can't put on a muzzle or a grip. That's fine. Just give me an optic, please. I don't even care if you give it like the SR3M treatment where I can just put on like select Russian optics. I I'll take it. Just give me something, man.